Welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Art Tube. I'm Kayla, and I am sitting here in the dark coloring. <laughs> How crazy is that? No, our, um, we had a bad storm to come through, and it took us out. And so, I have laid in the bed all I can. I'm now up, and I'm just trying to color because uh, I just can't lay in the bed anymore. I'm hurting so bad. And so I'm coloring by flashlight. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, seriously, my hips and legs and back is hurting from laying in the bed. It is, um, I think it's about 4 a.m., that I'm recording this, and so I laid in the bed as long as I could, and I said, I just got to get up, and so I sat in here for a minute, and I was like, well, I might as well just make a video, it's what I would normally do, <laughs> so we were sitting here last night, um, Big Daddy had fixed his dinner, and we were just sitting here. The wind was not blowing. It wasn't raining or anything. And the electricity went out. And I thought, well, that's odd. I wonder what made the electricity go out. Well, it came right back on. It wasn't out just like not even probably a whole minute. And it came back on. And I thought, oh, okay, whatever. You know, that happens. And... Then, all of a sudden, just this gust of wind came up out of nowhere, and it sounded like the porch of my house was being ripped off, and our bathroom is an add-on on this house, and so it sounded like the bathroom, which is right by my desk, and the porch, which is right here by my desk. It sounded like those were just being ripped off the house. The whole house shook. Like, it just shook real hard. And, the, you know, electricity went out immediately. Well, Phoebe jumped down out of her puppy bed and came over here to me. She's scared of the dark. And so, um, I picked her up and I walked back there to where Big Daddy was, and I said, what was that? And he said, I guess it was hail, but it shook the whole house. I said, yeah, I don't think it was hail. <laughs> <laughs> and so we, we came in here, and we opened the door and looked, and there was a huge tree down. It took our power lines and... That's what jerked the whole house whenever it, um, when it took the power lines off the house, it, it really did yank the house and jerk it and made the house shake. And our house is up on blocks. That, that coloring looks like crap. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it shook the whole house. And so we looked outside and there was sparks out there it looked like fireworks going off in our front yard and there's a huge tree down and the the power lines are down so big day was like get dressed get dressed we gotta get out of here i don't think it's safe for us to be here with these um power lines like this it, you know go up and go up you know catch on fire and go up and we need to be able to just run so get dressed so I'm like, okay, well, I got to report it. So I'm on the phone trying to um, report the outage. And the poor girl, I don't know, bless her heart. I was trying to explain to her, you know, that w I need to hurry. I need to get, I need to get, get dressed. I need to be able to get out of here. And she's just, you know yakking like we got all the time in the world <laughs> it was kind of funny but yet it was kind of like annoying too so um 
I have a lot of stuff that runs on electricity, um, such as a feeding tube pump, my pain pump, and, you know, just equipment like that that runs on electricity and has to be charged. And then I have my cell phone, I have my hotspot, I have my tablet. So I'm just trying to gather up all these things and their cords so that they can be charged. And we're just trying to get everything into a bag. We're just, we just have one bag. We're just putting some stuff in that, you know, we might want to go charge. So that's what we did was just gathered up our stuff like that. And then, um, we took my car to the mall parking lot and left it. And we called our son Dakota and said, you know, hey, can we come by for a few minutes? And just hang out over there and charge our stuff and all. And he's like, yeah, come on. So we went to his house and charged our cell phones and uh, my equipment and stuff, pain pump and all that. And then um, he needed to go to bed. It was after 12. Before we knew it, it was after 12. And he had to get up for work this morning. And we can't stay at Dakota's house because we can't use the bathroom over there. His bathroom is upstairs. Straight upstairs. It's like climbing a ladder to go to his bathroom. So, yeah. We can't stay over there. Plus, he don't have anywhere for us to stay anyway. He just has some chairs in the living room that are uncomfortable. <laughs> that are very uncomfortable and very covered in dark cat hair. He has two cats and an ugly little schnauzer. <laughs> no, that dog's not a schnauzer. It's a shih tzu. He has an ugly little shih tzu named Winnie. I don't think that's his name. <laughs> I can't think of the dog's name. Windsor. His name is Windsor. I call him Winnie. And then he has two cats, Monty and Oscar. Something like that. Phoebe, we, we grabbed Phoebe and took her with us. We just put the cats, you know, filled their bowls with um, of food and made sure they had water. But we took Phoebe with us. She was a nervous wreck. She's scared of the dark. She's not normally scared of bad weather, but she's scared of loud booms. This video is really not for the seeing part because <laughs> you can't see crap and it looks like crap. My color even looks like crap. But I just wanted to let you guys know what was going on with us. And um, I'm sure some of you might have saw on radars that, you know, there was some bad weather down here. And it rained a lot, like a whole lot, in a very short period of time. Because, like, it wasn't raining, and then it, all of a sudden it was just pouring down rain. When we got uptown, like, there was a lot of roads flooded that fast. So, anyway, Entergy never did come. <laughs> we just ended up having to come back home because we didn't have anywhere else to go. So, we came home. And, uh it rained so much. It was so flooded out there. I had to walk in water way above my ankles to get in the house. I was so aggravated because it was all muddy and slippery. Big Daddy almost fell. I was taking tiny, tiny steps to keep from falling. So I got to the door and I just had to go straight to the bathroom and go get in the shower, wash my feet and my shoes. I just put my shoes in the shower too. And washed everything because it was a mess. 
Yeah. So, we ended up just going to bed because there wasn't nothing else to do. <laughs> so, I did sleep for a little while and then Phoebe needed to get up. So, I got up with her and then I got back in the bed and tried to go back to sleep, but I was just hurting too bad and couldn't get comfortable. So, I thought, well, I'll just get up. Ugh. I don't know how long it's going to take them to get our power back on. There's lots of people without power, but not so much in our area. Um, I think our in our area, ours is an isolated incident because, because ours is our line. Yeah, the, um, you know, tree is down... Uh, took the line down that goes from the um, light pole. There's a light pole at the road, and then there's a light pole in our yard that the wires go to, and then the, then the wires go to our house. And it took the wires down from the light pole, from the pole in the yard to the house. I don't really know what it looks like. Other than that, we was looking at it with flashlights in the pitch black dark. So, yeah. But we took we took my car. We were, in the beginning we thought, well, why it's still storming like this? We need to get our cars out of here before a tree falls on our cars because we have tons of trees. So, that was our main goal was to get the trees, the cars out. And plus, we just didn't know how unsafe it might be. So, we, you know, parked my car at the mall for a little while while we went to Dakota's. But then we can't leave it, just leave it there to get towed. We don't want that expense. So, we, after we, you know, left Dakota's, Big Day took me back to my car and which had stopped storming so much then it was just a lot of thunder and some um lightning but it wasn't storming after that so we're home i guess we're safe i don't know <laughs> we don't know but we didn't have a choice but to come home we couldn't just you know stay in the car because we had to be able to go to the restroom and stuff so plus we have Phoebe so we're home sitting in the dark and I'm just coloring in the dark <laughs> I don't know what else to do. I mean, I can just sit here in the dark. But this coloring page is what I was coloring on, actually. When the electricity went off, this page was up. I mean, open. I was coloring it. So, it was still open whenever I sat down here a minute ago. This is a rechargeable flashlight. So, we did charge it up. But we'll have to go somewhere today and charge it again. Ugh. So I don't know. And Big Daddy has some deer meat in the refrigerator that he does not want to lose. So we need to find out something about it. What can we do with that deer meat? So we don't lose it. I don't know. I, I mean, I guess... I don't know if he's going to work today or not. I have no idea. He, you know, he wasn't able to get a shower. And he's he, he can't usually go without a shower. He would just feel horrible at work. If he didn't get a sh you know, shower. So I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what we're doing. I just know I'm coloring in the dark. <laughs> uh. 
Yesterday, my little kids came down. We did artwork, and we got a lot done. Um, I'll have to show you all their artwork that they've done so far. Um, but they got they got several pieces done now. And we're just going to continue to work on that. Like every Monday, they're going to come over. Because they had a they had a event that happened on Mondays, a homeschool co-op event. But that event is over for the year. So they're just going to come on Mondays now up until they um, are out of town. Unless they're out of town. And that's about it. <laughs> I'm coloring in the dark. Oh. I don't know. Thought I was just color these pots here for no reason. Y'all know what we're doing today. Um, we'll have to go charge our stuff back up. And I have a lot of, you know, I have a lot of complications. And we did not do my meds last night. Cause we have a hard enough time doing them in the daylight day with the lights on. <laughs> I can't even imagine us doing my meds and stuff with the lights off. We make a huge mess. I'm talking, yeah, it's a huge mess with the lights on. Trying to do all that, I can't imagine us trying to do it in the dark with just a flashlight. See if you got a few mosquitoes right here. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna do. And so Big Daddy thinks what they will do is they'll come just shut off the power. And they may have done that, I don't know. We don't know. We haven't got any updates to say if they've even been out to our house while we were gone. But he thinks they will come shut off the power and then we have to hook the lines back up to our house. I mean, not us, but we have to get an electrician to hook the lines back up to our house and then they will cut our power back on. He thinks that's the way it works. I don't know. So we're going to have to... We may have to buy the wiring lines. I don't know. We may have to get an electrician. Is what he thinks. He's trying to find an electrician. So, I don't know. We're not prepared for all this. For goodness sakes. And then in the meantime of all this, okay, so. I'm throwing up, okay? Because that's just what I do. That's part of me. And so, the whole time we were at Dakota's, I mean, I went in and I was like, I need a Walmart bag. And he got a bag and... I was just throwing up the whole time we were there. Because that's part of me. That's what I do every day. So, and then, you know, and during all this, I'm having side effects and still trying to recover from my infusion on Thursday. I'm still kind of a little bit sick from that real achy my legs and I'll just feel like I've been running a marathon feels like I've been running 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 so yeah I don't know Or a purple one. 
Oh, it's going to be a long day. And thankfully tonight, that storm had brought in some cooler weather. So it wasn't just so hot tonight. It was just a little bit warm, but it wasn't unbearably hot. But as, as the sun comes up, it's going to warm up. And it's going to be hot today. So we're not going to be able to just sit here in this hot house. I mean, I don't know. Big Daddy may be going to work. It may just be me sitting here in this hot house. I'm not going to be able to do that. i got to go somewhere. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. A lot of unknowns right now. So it may take us a while to get our electricity back on. I hope not too long because, yeah, or, you know, as, as Americans, we're spoiled. <laughs> we're spoiled to our electricity and conveniences and all that kind of stuff, right? And I definitely need my stuff with electricity running to it, my pain pump. My feeding tube pump. All that stuff runs on electricity. Well, my pain pump doesn't run on electricity, but the, um, the cell phone that connects to it to give myself medication, that needs to be charged regularly. You know, it needs to be kept charged. So it doesn't run down. So I have the cell phone part that needs to be charged. Plus the part that I hold over my abdomen. That part has to be charged also. So it's two pieces. So I don't know. I don't know what people do with all these medical issues. And when their electricity goes out. We don't have a generator. We don't have any place to, like, I don't know. I don't even know what we would do with a generator. Big Daddy is not in any kind of shape to be, like, trying to do anything, okay? The man is barely walking. He's barely staying upright. He has almost fell down so many times last night. And... You know, I'm the sick one, I'm the unstable one, and trying to tend to him. Trying to keep a check on him, make sure he's still upright. And yesterday at work, all day long, he kept texting me, telling me he couldn't breathe. And he was doing his inhaler. But he was just having a hard time breathing. At work all day yesterday. So, I mean, we, we have health issues. There's my, I, I'm not finished with it. I still have one, two, three and a half plants, cactuses to color. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pots to color. Oh, I don't know, guys. Phoebe, where you at, baby? She's in her puppy bed. And she was a nervous wreck the whole way to the mall. She was in the seat next to me with her blanket. And she was just panting very, very hard. I know it's because she was nervous. She was panting like crazy. But then once we got into Big Daddy's car and I was holding her, she wasn't panting anymore. So it's just because she was um, scared. Poor baby. I don't know. I'm just coloring because I ain't got nothing else to do. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Hopefully it'll start getting daylight 
for too long so we can at least see or I can see Big Daddy he, he don't care he's asleep I guess he probably set his alarm on his phone and I'm just rambling just rattling whatever because I'm you know the unknown I guess he said his alarms to get up I have no idea what's going on But anyway, guys, I guess I'll let you get going, and um, I hope you all have a great day. I hope you have electricity, because it sucks without it. It really, really does. Hopefully, um... Hopefully they'll get us back going for too long. Like I said, when I look, um, we're like, it's not like a major outage out here where we live. There's a lot of outages of power, but not in my area because my line only affected my house and not, you know, the whole community. And sometimes that's just the way it is out here. Sometimes people um, on one side of the community will be out of power, but my side will not be. But right now, I think it's just my house that's um, out. I did talk with um, my neighbor, Zeke's mom. I did talk with her earlier while we were gathering our stuff after I talked with Energy. Um, I called her and told her, you know, I said, is y'all's power out? And she's like, no, it went out, but it came back on. And I said, ours did too. And then a tree took down the line. And so I told her, you know, there was fireworks going off out there. And we were, um, I felt like we just needed to get out of here. And get our cars in case more trees started falling. And there's trees all, all around. As we were driving through town, there was lots of trees down. And so, you know, she just said, oh, look, you know, keep us updated what you're doing. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh goodness well I'm going to let you guys get going for reals for reals this time okay <laughs> I love you guys say a prayer for us say a prayer that electricity does get turned back on today and um, whatever they do if they unhook it or turn the power off and that we're able to get the wires hooked back up to the house so that they can come and turn the electricity back on. I don't know how all that works, but that's what Big Daddy's saying that has to happen. And I don't know. I don't know how he knows. So Dakota did text someone to ask him, did he do electrical work? Um... There's this little girl we know. Her name is Morticia. This little blonde-headed girl. And Dakota said he thinks her dad does electrical work. So he was texting about that. But he never did get an answer. So if hopefully maybe he does. And we can get somebody out here kind of quickly. I don't know. All right, guys. Talk to y'all later. Be good. Love you guys. I'll see you in the next video.